So guys, this next video is the biggest bass I've ever caught in my entire life. 11.3 pounds, my personal best. I caught this thing about a week ago, flipping right before dark. I mean, it was pitch black dark pretty much when I set the hook on this thing. Set the hook, rod doubled over, this fish came crashing out of the water. I mean, it sounded like a 200 pound man did a cannonball in the water like right in front of me. Unbelievable, ran me around the boat, around the front, around the back, jumped a couple times. I netted it, got it in, and uh, once I saw this thing, I was like, oh my God, that's a you know, 10, 11, 12 pound fish. Wasn't really prepared for it, you know. It was dark. Uh, um, I had caught an 8-3 the night before, so I brought some lights with me. So luckily, I had some lights on me, so I shined some lights, you know, to get a little bit of video and picture. Not the best video or picture, you know. Not like the big hero. Look at this gigantic, massive fish that I caught. Coolest picture in the world, but hey, I'm cool with it. My personal best, 11.3 pounds, you know. Scrambling around a little hectic trying to take pictures and video and all that, you know, I love my boat But it doesn't have a live well, so I catch a big fish I got to hurry up take a picture take the video, you know, and, and get it back in the water But unbelievable Caught it flipping On this bait. I've been using forever Missile baits bruiser flash D bomb straw This is like the black and blue color I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a little bit of flake to it. Appendages, almost swims like a swim jig. I mean, I've been just been crushing them on this bait for the past two weeks. I've caught more big fish in the past 10 days of two weeks than I have my entire life. I caught two over eight pounds. I caught this 11.3. I caught a couple in the low sevens. I caught one 7.14, pushing eight pounds, a couple sixes. I mean, I'm not making this up. I got videos for all of them. It's just ridiculous. Catch them all in that bruiser bait, you know, D-bomb craw. Using a black and blue skirt. Uh, three quarter, I think it's a three quarter. Yeah, three, uh, three quarter or one ounce tungsten weight. I keep switching back and forth, but I'm using this black and blue all-terrain tackle skirt these are awesome these are hand tied i get these at tackle warehouse uh I'll leave the description in the bottom trocar hook i believe this is a five aught or a four aught trocar always peg the weight always use a snell knot i mean if you're not using a snell knot man you really need to start because i don't think i would have hooked that fish without the snell knot i mean you set the hook and that hook pops up and it's right where it's supposed to be, right in the roof of their mouth. So, hooks them almost every time. Using this Luz, this is a super duty, super high fast, eight to one gear ratio. Ducket, Ghost, seven six, extra heavy. You know, these ducats are great rods. I love them, they're light, you know, they're super sensitive. It says extra heavy, which is the heaviest one you can buy in a ducket. My personal opinion is not extra heavy. It's, I would say it's like a high medium to heavy, but perfect for pitching. Not perfect for flipping like heavy, heavy weeds. I got, you know, an eight foot super heavy one that I use for that. But I mean, it does the job when you're pitching. So something going on right now out in the water, man, because I've caught so many big fish flipping. I mean, every time I go out, I'm catching a six, seven, eight pounder and I'm just beside myself, I can't believe it. I mean, I'm in Central Florida and these fish are, you know, they're not on beds. The, the water temperature is still like 74, 76 degrees. It's like 80, 85 degrees out at night. So they're not on beds. They might, I think they're just feeding right now, you know, getting up, starting to move up on beds. So right now is the time, I mean, it's mid-November. I caught this one November 1st. So that was 10 days ago. So here's the crazy thing, I mean, this is my personal best, biggest bass I've ever caught. I've been fishing my entire life to catch this fish. And the actual fight is like literally less than a minute. So if you really think about that, I mean, you're out here, you know, going hard, fishing, 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 nonstop, wearing yourself out, trying to catch this elusive fish. And literally it took less than one minute to set the hook and get this thing in the boat. So it's pretty crazy when you think about it from that perspective. But hey, 
that's why we keep on fishing so check this video out i hope you like it this is my personal best biggest largemouth bass i've ever caught in my entire life 11.3 pounds i've literally been fishing my entire life to catch this fish and i finally did it so That is a 10 or 12 pounder. Look at that thing. Look at that fish. That fish is 11 pounds. 11 pounds, one ounce. 11 pounds, three ounces. I hope you guys can see this. Guys, that is an 11 pound fish. Eleven pounds, two ounces. Eleven pounds, three ounces. Right, I gotta get it back. <sighs> Guys, this is the biggest fish of my life right here. Huge. Unreal. <laughs>